Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I recently, as of today, just hit 140,000 subscribers. So I wanted to make a video just as a, a milestone, and thank you all that have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate the support. Maybe I don't thank you enough, but I do appreciate you. I don't want to get, you know, to a point where I just take it for granted. I appreciate it and it it makes me happy and it drives me to make videos on some days I just feel like being lazy and not making any videos and I'm like there's people out there that would like to see a video of mine I've skipped some days and people hit me up on Twitter and be like hey you haven't made a video and people notice when I don't post a video and that's a a motivator for me that there are people out there, you guys, waiting to watch my videos. And I just think that's awesome because it's one of the main reasons that I make videos. I, I do love making videos, just the whole process of it. But, you know, I get lazy sometimes, just like everyone else does. Maybe a little more so sometimes. <laughs> but I just wanted to say thank you because... You guys really, you make me happy. <laughs> oh, and before we go any further, I would like to mention something about the gameplay. This is my most kills game ever in any Call of Duty. And I know that you guys have seen crazy 100 plus flawless gameplays from, from other guys. But this is my personal best. And it is not 100 plus, so I haven't quite got that yet, but it's pretty darn close. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I was very happy about it. And I was using dogs and the, the warthog and the escort drone. And I wanted all, you know, unmanned score streaks so that I could still be doing some killing while they're getting kills too. And you could argue that if I was running Swarm instead of the Warthog that I would have had 100 plus gameplay, but it's probably more likely that the host would have dashboarded or the, all the players would have just backed out. It seems like the Swarm is m much more likely to get people to just back out of a game because they feel like there's no hope. But this, this one, even though I, I raped them pretty hard, I think they still felt like they had a chance to come back and win because I, I wasn't holding down the hard point like the whole time and you know the score didn't get outrageous to where it was really out of touch to win so I think it, it was like dangling a little piece of cheese in front of them they're like oh come on we're only down by like 40 points and they just wanted to keep on fighting but it was really resistance was futile <laughs> All right, so now for a little trip down memory lane as far as my YouTube channel goes. I started my channel in February of 2010, and I had a very, very slow start as far as growth goes to my channel. I didn't post a lot. I would maybe like post like one or two videos a month. It would just be games like this. Like I would probably post this game up, and if you go back and watch some of my earlier videos, I was just like, um, hey guys, I, I got a really awesome game. I was really excited about this. It's uh, my most kills game ever, and I thought it was pretty cool. So um, I was shooting people, and I did really good. So I hope you like it. <laughs> so I definitely think that I've made some improvements to my commentary over the years. To make it a little bit more enjoyable for you to listen to. <laughs> and so after like, you know, the first eight months only having like 50 subs. And I started making videos. It was, it was like shout out videos where I would post all of my subscribers uh, YouTube names in the videos and like scroll them up the screen. And then that got to the point where I, I couldn't do that anymore just because there was too many. I think the most that I put in a video was like 13,337. It was my like super elite shout out video. 
But that led to the randomly selected 500 commenters and this gun fucking sucks. And I first posted a This Gun Fucking Sucks, I think January 2011, if I'm not mistaken. And that was really the main thing that like got me off my feet. And Machinima wanted to post it on Respawn. And then they made me a partner and a director. And that was like around July of 2011, I believe. And... It's been going on Respawn ever since. So I would like to thank Machinima and Machinima Respawn because they really helped me grow my channel to where it is now. And one thing I will say is I did get an email from Machinima the other day. I'm not going to go into what it said, but you may already know just from other people talking about it. But I'm not going to talk about it. But that's all I have to say. I'm not mad at Machinima or anything. I would like to thank them for everything that they've done for my channel. There, there just may be some changes in the near future, but that's not going to affect anything on your end. I'm still going to be making videos, and I still hope that you will enjoy watching them. And so, after this gun fucking sucks, um, what are some other big things that came across on my channel? Uh, the the Road to Forever Alone series was a very popular series. If you haven't checked that out, where I talk about like my relationships with every girl that I've ever been with in my life. And a lot of people liked that. It got pretty intimate into my life, which I don't do very often. Uh, I did do another series, uh, The Dual Calm with my mom, where I talk about all kinds of things in my childhood that she remembered and that we both remembered going out all the way up through high school. So if you haven't checked out any of those series that I just mentioned, those are some of the big things on my channel. And if you came to my channel from any other means, I would be interested in knowing. I know a lot of people have come to me from Straight Up Knives and I would like to personally thank him for all the support that he's given my channel. Uh, I think he had maybe 40,000 subs when I first met him and he trolled me in one of my live streams and then he just blew up and now he's like triple the size I am. I don't even know where he's at right now, but I know it's it's huge and I think it's awesome all the success that he's got on his channel. I'm, I'm not a hater. <laughs> I think it's awesome when people succeed and everyone should succeed. And after, you know, he got that many subscribers, he's still supported my channel and still used me to do commentaries and stuff on his videos it was kind of like i was helping him out when i first started doing it and now he's really helping me out more than i'm helping him out when i do the commentaries so big shout out to straight up knives he's a cool dude and um some other big things that have happened i would like to thank you know just everyone that has ever told a friend or shared my channel with anyone because that's really the best thing that subscribers can do to help support a channel that they enjoy is you know telling your friends about it if you just tell one other friend everyone told one other friend i would have 280,000 subscribers <laughs> so i just appreciate it and you don't have to like if you're forever alone and you don't have any friends to tell and you just like watching my videos and support my channel, that's cool too. <laughs> I love you just the same. So this gameplay is about to wrap up. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you very much to everyone that su has supported my channel. And I love you all. I can't believe that I've got 140,000 subscribers. I think that is super neato, awesome, insane. And here, finally, is the reveal, 91 and 6, with 18 captures and 3 defends. My best, highest score, well, not score, but kills ever in a Call of Duty. So, thanks for watching. I love you all. 140,000 subscribers is awesome. I'll talk to you later. Take it easy.